Put a Dean up here, and we've got mean Mike Miller. Don, gosh, you finally got that right in your speech here. Look here, you got the tag team Pacific Coast Heavyweight Champions here. We got one bell told in here. We're still looking for that other one. I don't know where it's at. Boys, you better come along with it before long. Because if you don't, you'll never have another match. You'll never have another title shot or anything in Pacific Northwest again. Brady Boone, Coco Samoa, Scott Dorn, you come in here. You try to tag up against the clan. You can't do it, boys. You can't get all three of the clan in there and beat them. One, two, three. How are you going to put champions together and beat them? You can't beat champions because that's why they are champions, because they're number one. Anytime anybody asks you, anytime, if it's the third in Pendleton, if it is, then you tell them this clan's going to be there, and you tell them the champion's going to be there. They're going to have their belts, and if anybody wants a shot at them, bring that other belt, and you're likely to have one. Well, the belts still aren't back around the waist of the champions. Coco Samoa, Brady Boone, they've held on to the belts long enough. We demand our belt. We are the champions. Let it all be known. The clan is strong. Rip Oliver's clan all over the Pacific Northwest. We're going to be in Pendleton. And you know what happened the last time we were in Pendleton. So all you people out there, come on down. Get a taste of some violence. Get a taste of some hardcore brutality. Get a taste of the clan. What do you think about that, Don Cos? What do you think about the clan? If anybody asks you, what are you going to say? Number one, right? You are definitely three of a kind. And uh, August 3rd. In Pendleton, the Klan will be there. And right now, one part of the Klan, Abuda Dean, going back out to the ring. With Scott Doring, and we've only got two minutes to go in our main event. So time certainly is a factor now. Abuda Dean lost that first fall by disqualification. He has uh, two fingers on his left hand bandaged just as Rip Oliver has his right thumb bandage, and he drove those fingers into the throat of Scott Doring. Only uh, he did it in front of the referee. And that resulted in a disqualification immediately. Scott Doring going right to work on Abuda Dean. He only needs one more fall, and he's the winner of our main event. Best two out of three to a TV time limit. Here comes a whip into the ropes, goes Abuda Dean, and he just took a Scott Doring big fist right into the stomach that took the wind right out of him all right it'll take the wind out of your sails and everything else here comes uh oh is this going to be a scott during uh ear burner yes ah. if scott during can get that power body slam working then uh, this baby will be over oh uh, rake across the face by abuda dean we're down to 60 seconds to go in our main event and you know that Abuda Dean is going to be doing everything he can to leave Scott Doring crippled in the ring. Uh, hurting so badly, maybe he might need to carry out service. That's, uh, I'm sure, has got to be part of his assignment from the leader, Riff Oliver. If you can't win the match, leave him laying in the ring. Take him out on the carry-out stretcher. Or do something that... He's going to leave him thinking about you. There goes a shot into the turnbuckle. Oh, and Scott Doring came off the turnbuckle with a clothesline, and he nailed Abuda Dean. But we have run out of time, and uh, Scott Doring is the declared winner of our main event. We'll be back with a special interview after this time.